Let's go over Star Wars The Last Jedi when it comes to certain pieces of continuity. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you all so very much for the kind support that is greatly appreciated. Now, when it comes to certain pieces of continuity, as we heard a couple of months ago, director Ryan Johnson himself inserted prequel trilogy continuity in Star Wars The Last Jedi. However, recently we just learned that the prequel trilogy continuity that was inserted in The Last Jedi is going to be very important to the plot and to a certain character, that of course being Rey, all right, the newcomer Rey, the main character of The Last Jedi and the sequel trilogy itself. And it really raises an eyebrow now, doesn't it? Why would prequel trilogy continuity in The Last Jedi be so important for one specific character such as Rey? I believe this all has to do with the whole Chosen One concept. They are transferring that whole entire concept from the prequel trilogy into The Last Jedi, and Mark Hamill essentially confirmed that just a couple of weeks ago thanks to that Entertainment Weekly article when they got to go ahead and catch up with Hamill. And what Mark Hamill had to say was this. He actually said that he thought his nephew Kylo Ren was the chosen one before he turned to the dark side under the manipulation of Supreme Leader Snoke. So right then and there we learned that the whole chosen one thing is actually a thing in The Last Jedi. And with that being said, I believe that they are going to take advantage of that concept for Rey as a character that she could very well be the chosen one. Now, in case you guys didn't know about this, in the script of The Last Jedi, or should I say, in The Force Awakens, at the very end, Luke Skywalker recognizes her in some way, shape, or form. Not by appearance, but in some other way. Now, it could very well be that Rey herself is indeed the Chosen One. Could this be the big, shocking revelation of her connection to the Force? Maybe, maybe not. I feel like it should or could be something more than that, but that could be a piece of the shocking revelation for Rey herself and her connection to the Force overall. Now, when Mark Hamill said that he thought Kylo Ren, his nephew, was the Chosen One, doesn't it really make yourself question as to why Luke Skywalker would think that, right? We do know that he is indeed a descendant of Darth Vader himself, Anakin Skywalker. There are a lot of similarities between both Kylo Ren and Anakin. And as we have seen before in the prequel trilogy, even Yoda, you know, he essentially told Mace Windu and everybody that, you know, a prophecy misread it could have been. That same exact thing seemed to have happened with Luke Skywalker and his view of Kylo Ren. I believe that Rey could very well be the chosen one, or maybe even perhaps something even more. And her connection to the Force will be explained by Luke Skywalker himself. A great report by MakingStarWars.net about six months ago, they went over how Luke does have a very good scene in The Last Jedi in which he sits her down essentially and explains her connection to the Force and it's really going to surprise a lot of fans out there. So it could be more than her just being the chosen one, but I believe her being the chosen one could very well be a piece of her overall story in this film. So guys, drop a comment below. I want to hear your insight on all of this. Why, why do you think the prequel trilogy continuity is so important for this character as Rey? Let me know what you think about that below. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.